Hi everyone and welcome back to the London Watch Collector channel. If you just tuned into my channel, I'm a watch collector, a watch enthusiast, basically I'm addicted to watches. And on my channel, I'll be sharing my passion for watches using 4K content. I'll be discussing and showing you brilliant timepieces ranging from Seiko to Patek Philippe. So guys, if you enjoy my reviews, please subscribe to my channel, make sure to hit the notification bell and follow me on Instagram. So guys, here we have another vlog. This time I'll be going to Singapore and we'll be taking the Sky Dweller with us. If you've watched the vlog I've done two weeks ago, whereby I went to Mauritius, I took the Batman with me. And as I mentioned last time that I always travel with a GMT watch as the function is quite useful to know that I'm back at home. But this time I thought, why not try the Sky Dweller on a trip? Because it's been a while since I properly wore the Sky Dweller. And I thought a trip to Singapore would be perfect. This vlog is going to be relatively longer compared to the Mauritius one. It's just because there's lots of things to do in Singapore. Basically in Mauritius it's all about the beach, the sand and relaxation. Singapore is one of the busiest cities and there are so many things to do and hopefully I'll be able to share that with you guys during this vlog. So guys, just got to Singapore waiting for our luggage it was a 12 hour flight. We're checking into the Shangri-La's Rasa Sentosa Resort and Spa, which is on Sentosa Island. It's actually at 2 a.m. in the morning. As you can see, it's dark. We're starving. So we're just gonna get some room service. Look at this caution because they actually have wild monkeys jumping around those trees you see here. That's what I like about Singapore. You have the wildlife and you have the busyness of the city. You have the luxury, all types of cuisines when it comes to food. The moment I land, I always get my detox massage. Once again, the wildlife I was talking about, I'm not sure what creature this is, but it's quite scary. Just look at the tongue on that. A more cheerful animal, a peacock, beautiful colors. And then a small little pond with flashy color fish. So we're just chilling at the beach until it's time for the spa. There's a spa that I always go to when I'm in Singapore and it's called So Spa in the Sofitel Hotel. It used to be called Botanica Spa, but they changed that. But it's quite exclusive. You have the mud bath, you have a waterfall. We have a couple's massage booked. After that, it's time for some adventure. So guys, we're on our way to Universal Studios. And that's the water slides, which we'll be doing in a couple of days. I won't be able to vlog it because I don't have my GoPros on me, but probably next time. So we got the VIP tour, just waiting for our guide. Fantastic. 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 Fantast
Madagascar world is finished. Now we're going to the Faro world, Transformers, and then the roller coasters. The architecture is also beautiful. They've replicated New York and, of course, Jurassic Park with some nice rides. Oh, and of course, we can't forget Shrek. And this is actually quite interesting. If you want to get wet, you sit at the front. If not, you sit at the back. When you get the VIP tour, you get a comfortable leather sofas and you get a view of everything. He's determined to find dry land first. He's ensured that no explorer has ever returned until now. It's a woman! It looks like...
Tiger Woods. You, Bowie, you stand up. It's getting dark guys, we're heading to the Sentosa beach whereby there is a magical laser show called Zwing of Time but before that we'll get a pit stop at Chili's to grab the molten chocolate cake. The Wings of Time is basically a, a water laser show. As you can see guys, the weather in Singapore, one day it could be sunny, the next is full of rain. It's going to be rainy today, but there's always a plan B. We're heading to the mall, but before that, I'm going to give you a nice little view of the central hub in Singapore. Going to the 56th floor, and there you go guys. You can see the clouds coming, it's definitely going to be raining. I'm gonna try to take a wrist shot just before the rain comes. And there you go guys, was able to get the wrist shot with the Sky Dweller just before the rain. I'm gonna go into my favorite brands which are obviously Petek, Rolex, AP and let's ask if anything's available. Although Vacheron it's part of the Holy Trinity but it just does not sink to me. Will I ever get one? Probably. Will it be a sports model, i.e. overseas? Probably not because I feel they're too similar to the Royal Oak and the Nautilus, which I have both. Maybe something else a bit more dressy, but I popped into Panerai. I've also been contemplating to get a Panerai. The 47 millimeter is huge. I would prefer a 42, but something always stops me. I'm not sure why. Patek Philippe, just like in London, unless you are local and you can actually prove that you're local and you work in Singapore, only then they put you on the list. And that is if there's space on the list. The first question they asked me was, are you local? Do you work here? Do you live here? And obviously the answers were no. And it's like, sorry, we can't help. But think about it, guys. Around 55 to 60,000 watches a year is made. If we're lucky, we'll probably see 2057 11 
5712 and those figures are actually quite high they're probably less so imagine 2000 all around the world every year it's just crazy but anyway they couldn't help in Petak as well nothing available you can't even get on a list let's check one of my favorite brands Rolex of course what would you guys choose the sky dweller or the Daytona and guys this is crazy news look what they have in stock starting with a no date sub pricing at $10,030 which is around £6,000 followed by the Hulk which is priced at £7,200 they have a ceramic black Daytona a Sea Dweller 50th anniversary a two-tone Submariner a Root Beer two-tone GMT Master 2 a white dial Daytona which is £9,800 so all the prices you see are actually retail prices in Singapore they're a bit more expensive compared to the UK because don't forget the price of a Daytona in the UK which is around £9,500 includes 20% VAT which is tax so in Singapore around £10,000 for a Daytona is quite expensive especially that you only have 6% tax I believe but can you believe guys all those watches are available and finally the Pepsi and look at that display in the corner sorry guys i had to play this joke on you everything you saw is not for sale it's only on display apologies if i got you excited some of you probably booked their flight in the last minute or so to singapore just wanted to tease you guys imagine if all those watches we saw were available at every authorized dealer we went into it would be a perfect world anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this review sorry once again about the joke at the end hope you guys found it funny that's all for this week thank you for watching